All right, we're going to take a quick look at how to calculate flag proportions. If you have a, a flag and it's 50 by 100, doesn't matter if it's 50 inches or 50 feet or 50 centimeters or 50 tasimos, and you want a proportional flag that would be 150 feet this way, how do you calculate, how do you figure out what this length right along through here is going to be? We'll take a look at that. If you have a flag that's uh, two units by three units, two feet by three feet, two meters by three meters, doesn't matter. Uh, but you want to have a proportionally large flag that's seven and a half meters long. How high do you make it right here? Or if you have a flag that's uh, seven by 18 units, how much does this need to be if this is 31? We'll take a look at how you do that kind of stuff. So, starting with our problem, we have a 50 by 100 flag. We want to know what this is. We first need to set that up in a proportion, so we'll work a few examples here. And that is if I compare this side right here, and I'll call that my numerator and my fraction, over this length right here, my denominator and my fraction, I can set that up as an equivalent fraction with 150 being my denominator, this is uh, this length to this. So I'm comparing this length to this length, and I'm comparing this length to the unknown length as set up here in my proportions. Then I simply cross multiply. And if I multiply 50 times 150, I get 7,500. 7, if they are truly proportional, if I multiply 100 times some unknown number, I would likewise get 7,500. So how do I do this? Well, we'll take a look at that. And that would be, uh, here I have 100x equals 7,500. So here I have 100x equals 7,500. Divide both sides by 100. These hundreds cancel out, go away. And uh, they don't actually go away to nothing. They actually become the number one. Uh, and sometimes that's important, but most times it's not. So now it just simply becomes a long division problem. And if we divide 100 into 7,500, it equals 75. So if this dimension is 50 and this is 100, then we're dealing with this is 75. Let's work another example. All right, now we have a flag that is 2 by 3, and we have another flag that uh, the customer is wanting it to be 7.5 units long. How high is this? We set up a proportion. So 2 to 3, 2 to 3, and the equivalent fraction of x to 7.5. Now, we multiply 2 times 7.5, and we get 15. We multiply 3 times x, and bada bing, we get 15 as well. Now, how does that happen? Well, it works like this. We have uh, 3 times x equals 15. So we have 3 times x equals 15. We divide both sides by 3. These 3's cancel out. And we wind up then with uh, x equals 15 over 3. This is a long division problem. We divide 3 into 15, and bada bing, we get 5. So if this length is 2, this length is 3, a proportional flag would have this as 5, and this at 7.5. Let's uh, take another look at another example. And that is we'll have a flag that is 7 by 18 and an unknown height and 31 units long. So we set up our proportions, 7 over 18, 7 over 18, x over 31, x over 31. These would be equivalent fractions. That is, if we did the long division on this, we'd get the same number as if we did this. That also means that if we multiply 7 times 31, it gives us 217. And if we cross multiply 18 times x, it likewise will give us 217. We then come in, we do the multiplication, we, do the, uh, we divide both sides by 18. We cancel the 18s. We now have x equals 217 over 18. Bada bing, that's 12.055555555 forever and ever, amen. So you can uh, finally, we'll, we'll take, uh, finish off with a simple example or model uh, that you can follow. And that is if you have a flag that's 1 by 2, a proportional flag to that would be 2 by 4. And perhaps you can see that. So the 1 over 2 is an equivalent fraction of 2 over 4. And you cross multiply, you get 4. Cross multiply, you get 4. But what happens if you don't know 1? You can figure that out because you can always cross multiply and do that. This is the end. You may contact me at alanmorris at yahoo.com.